Shalom, shalom, Israel. Shalom, shalom, Israel. It's Leah. Yeah. We're going to have some. It's Leah Yehuda, Israel. Shalom. Having some uh, food dolls. here. Chili dolls, turkey dolls. Anybody want to say something? Turkey dolls. Yes. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. Y'all, y'all bless you all little Israelite Thank girls and boys. Y'all bless. Don't let, is it too much um, sauce on that? It's no. barely sauce. So okay. It's Thank good. You. You're welcome. So, we just having Thank some. You, You're welcome. Um, I need to put them chickens up in a second. So, we just were having round two here of uh, dinner. Little cheering out on the door, and they said, can we have uh, some chili dogs? And it's turkey, y'all. This loving kindness have I drawn thee. We know it's dung. It's all dung. So, I just want to give thanks to the most high, y'all. The praises and thanks to the Most High um, for the love of my community, uh, the children, my daughters, uh, neighbors, friends, all around here. So I just want to give thanks to the Most High this round, too, that I was able to share. Praise Yah. So as soon as I get done <laughs> down here, I'm going upstairs so I can take my shower and relax. And this has been a fun-filled day today. It didn't go like I wanted it to. I did my video this morning. At the courthouse, and um, I guess the most I didn't want it because it didn't go through. And I was out there for 30 minutes on it, so I guess that was a sacrifice. I got up real early this morning, had morning prayer with Sister Ada. Y'all bless you, Sister Ada. We prayed at like, she called like 5, 6 this morning, 5, 6. I was up about 2, and we began to pour our hearts out to the mighty young. We prayed, and I felt so good, like, that um, I wanted to do a video. So I went downtown on my way about my day. And the video didn't, I did, and it was beautiful, but I guess the most I didn't want it. So it didn't go through um, due to my malfunction. And so, but I give praises to the most high, yeah, that I still had a blessed day today. Um, my young brethren came by, and they so sweet, y'all. They so sweet. Love and kindness, the most I said. Love and kindness have I drawn, DC. This is our community. Isaiah 58, do not be afraid of your flesh. Love your neighbor as you love yourself, y'all said. Nobody is better than nobody. We all in that sin that comes short. But if you're serving an idol God and you don't want to hear about the Most High God, then, you know, you're in trouble with the Creator. He's the judge, and His judgment is out. And whatever He gives you is righteous. Whatever judgment you get is righteousness from the Most High God. So, but as far as uh, me and my house, we're going to serve the Most High. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to keep bringing love through the through the, to the community and through um and we're just gonna keep on obeying the most high following the most high yo it's, it's enough food to feed everybody it's enough love to go around for everybody um the chickens they bring love they bring company um the children it is it's all about israel uh we've been so messed up and brainwashed and thinking that somebody always out to get us and this and that but my thing is with people is if you keeping this torah Nobody should have to tell you how to treat your brethren. You should know how to treat your brethren or your sister. And that's just, just a thing you should know in your heart. Not to hurt your sister or your brethren. I mean, there's a lot of things I know is done not not intentionally. Um, but I, I try to be cautious and be aware of the way I treat people. Because I try to treat them the way I want to be treated. And um, I think that's righteous. You know, you want to be treat, treated right, you treat your brethren right. You want to be treated like shit, then you treat your brethren like shit. You're going to get the same thing back over here. I'm just not going to deal with you. That's just me. I just, I don't got time for foolishness. I am very tired. My body is tired. I've come a long way from Florida all the way up living in shelters, doing this here um, in the shelters, um, hunting down, looking for whoever the most high send my way, thinking like, you know, this is her, this is him give this word, talk to them. So that's what I've been doing, and I'm tired. My, my body is so tired. And um, I'm ready to have a rest on the other side of the Jordan when the Most High delivers me and my child. So until then, the process of the work will keep going. Facebook kicked me off for 30 days for talking about homosexuals and how disgusting you are. You're an abomination to the Most High. And if you don't hurry up and repent, you're going to get destroyed, okay? Because man shall not lie with man as a woman. A woman don't lie with no woman like a woman. You don't do that. You don't do that like you would lie with your husband. The Most High said that's an abomination. 
abomination and whatever we did in the past, the Most High will forgive all of us. It don't matter what your sin is. Turn to Ezekiel 18. If you want to know about how to be forgiven, turn to Ezekiel 18 and ask for forgiveness from the mighty. I just read it all and maybe you'll understand. Um, JC didn't die for you. JC is not going to help anyone. JC is not real. It was a slave ship. Just Google it. So uh, that's what's going on over here in my life. It's about bringing love to the community. It's about me being obedient to the most high and walking in his ways. And that's all I know. So it doesn't matter what anyone thinks about me or how they feel about me. It's all about what the most high you say. And he said to keep his law, statutes, and commandments and do them. So we don't eat no swine over here. Um, and we ask the most high y'all to bless the food that we ate all day today. Um, whatever abominations was in it. Cause I don't eat pork. I don't eat swine, but I do eat turkey dogs. We do that. Yeah. Here and there. And, um, my daughter wanted some chili and that's what I made with tur ground turkey. And yeah, we're going to come up off the meat soon, but we, you know, we ain't over righteous over here. We just, we just walk in the ways of y'all. We don't, we don't call on idols and we don't eat pork. Okay. And um, like like my, my son of Yah, my brethren, Elias says, you know, we got to be cautious of what we eat. We got to be cautious of it. Um, these latter days, you shouldn't be sitting down bragging about a pork chop and pork dishes and crabs and shrimp and all of those things. The Most High hate those things. He hate them. But the Most High, he's so merciful. He's loving and he's kind and he didn't destroy us. When we used to eat those things, um, I had a feast down in Florida. That's all I knew. That's the way I was raised. I was raised into sin that way, and that's all I knew. So I'm just a baby in this truth. My walk is little. It's a little walk. It's day by day with the Most High Yah. That, that's all I know. So it's to walk with Yah and obey Him. And He said that He would go before us and He would make the crooked things straight. So we give all praises and we give all honor and glory to the Most High Yah. And I'm asking the Most High Yah to heal and to forgive and to teach us how to love each other and how to get along with each other and to bless our communities all over the United States, wherever there's a ghetto and wherever there's a hood at, and wherever there's a child in the need and a mother that's single and a father that's single and, you know, raising these children. And But we ask the Most High Yah to give us strength that we endure this these trying times until the end because it's really sickening out here and we sick we gone but there is a remnant and it's a remnant and we're waking up and we're returning to the law statutes and commandments and we're not um doing the things that we used to do you know i ain't perfect i ain't never professed to be perfect but i bet you i'm not turning from the most high i ain't turning from yah for nobody nobody so that's the way i've been walking and I'm known, y'all, he's been with me all my life. I used to pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in my deep prayer, even in my sin. And I'm just happy, and um, I'm happy that the Most High remembered me. I gave my three adult children to the Most High when they were very young, about five, four, a couple of months was the little one. And um, I prayed a special prayer to that God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I say, here, first of all, I want to give you these children back to you. And um, I want them to have a personal relationship with you. And I just never knew that that was the Most High Yah and that he would take me from those children. And that's what he did. So I wait for him to return my children, which he's doing, and um, changing their hearts so that they would turn back to Torah and to not and to live this way of life and to teach their children. So um, you have to stay out of the Most High's business. It hurts. I stayed up in this apartment right up here crying and weeping. I've been here almost two years, and I cried my eyes out. I came here, I was a mess, and my neighbors will tell you, they didn't know me when I came here, because I didn't speak, I just spoke, and I you know, I kept to myself, but as I kept growing and walking in the Most High, yeah, he showed my purpose, me, my purpose, and why I'm here, so I give him all thanks, and I'm ready for an exit. Um, whenever the Most High is ready to exit, exit us, we're ready to go. I want to go to the beach, and I want to relax, and I just want to dance like David and praise my creator. So I just wanted to share with you what's been going over here all day today. Not all day, because I just got back a couple of hours ago and started making the chili, this and that, Darren. The brethren came through, sons of Yah, this and that. So once again, I give all praises to the Most High Yah, and I ask him to bless, bless each of your families as well as mine. Yah is righteous, Yah is just. And y'all will be glorified. So we praise y'all. So shalom, shalom, family. Shalom. And just please pray my strength in y'all. Please pray my strength in the mighty y'all. Hallelujah. And 
Pray for these babies in the neighborhood right here in your community as well as mine, wherever there's an Israelite child, you know, we family. I let them know we family. We don't we ain't no be no fighting and all of that there because we family. We all it's all about the most high yah, it's all about us. So Shalom, Shalom Israel. I'm about to wrap it on up and take my shower and relax. Hallelujah.